Hey guys, it's Brittany again, and today I'm coming to you guys with a makeup tutorial. Um, recently I've been doing kind of just my eyeliner, bolt lashes, and like a brown kind of neutral lip, which is very similar to the makeup video that I did in late January, February. But a lot of people have been complimenting me on my makeup, so I wanted to do another look that's very kind of simple um, like that. So that's what I'm going to be doing for you guys today. Um, I'm also doing a frontal um, installation right now, so I'm going to be trying to do like both things kind of at the same time. So I've had this scarf on for like 30 minutes, so I'm going to go ahead and take it off so it doesn't... So I don't have like a ring around my forehead where I don't have the makeup. And I'll have a video up, I'll have a video up on this hair um, probably before this video. So just look out for that. So um, what I'm going to start off with, I've already put like Vaseline on my face because I just got out of the shower. And sometimes I get eczema everywhere actually, but um, I get it on a specific place on my face which is underneath my nose it's just one spot of eczema that acts up every once in a while so um, in a famous video I mentioned um, my Eucerin eczema cream but it doesn't really work for that spot on my face but it works everywhere everywhere else on my body so what I use for the eczema on my face and other places is the cortisone 10 so if you have eczema you gotta get this because this really works um, when I stop using it my skin kind of reverts back but of course you have to like drink water and stuff but I'm almost out of this stuff but it does help with my eczema on my face you just have to keep using it all right for my primer I'm going to be using the Becca ever matte poreless poreless priming perfecter this stuff is expensive it's about I think it's $36 so there are cheaper alternatives. I do like NYX Angel Veil Primer, but I don't have that anymore. And that's pretty much the only drugstore primer I like is the NYX Angel Veil. But this stuff's pretty good. Um, so I'm just going to put that on my face. Because I do have oily skin. And I don't put it on top of that area where I have eczema because I don't want it to get flaky. I put it on top of my brows. Okay, so for my lips, um, a moisturizer, I'm using this Eco Lips Mongo Kiss with Mongo Oil Lip Balm with a Kiss of Bliss in the flavor of banana. So I got this at like... I think it's called Gardeners, which is like, like a health store. Alright, so something I have to have, well this is an essential, I have to have this in my everyday regimen, I have to have this. Something else I have to have because I do have um, discoloration is the LA Girl Pro Conceal Concealer in color orange. So I have... Um, this can help combat the dark spots, so um, it cancels out that darkness. So I put that underneath my nose, and I put that underneath my eyes, but not too much because it can be a little bit overpowering. And I put it on the corners of my mouth. Alright, so I'm going to take my Real Techniques Beauty Sponge, and I'm just going to lightly tap that orange in. And I'm also going to make this video kind of a... I guess I can make it a get ready with me just to kill two birds with one stone. Um, you guys know I mentioned in my 75k video that I was considering um, leaving teaching and doing YouTube full time. And I told you guys I was going to give you an update um, after contracts go out. Um, just a backstory: if you are new to my channel. I have been teaching middle school art for almost two and a half years and throughout those two and a half years the it's been rough but um, this particular school year we have a new principal I like the old principal too but 
this year I just feel like he's got it a bit more organized and as an art teacher I used to I, I used to teach six classes now I only teach five which is great so I have more time to plan and get ready for classes and this semester has been the best semester I've ever had as a teacher so um, even with all of that um, I have decided to resign from my position as the art teacher at my school uh, for the 2018-2019 school year so I'm going to be a full-time youtuber as of June which is um, really scary but at the same time I didn't just jump out the window and quit my job I, this has been a long time coming if you watch some of my vlogs from 2016 I was talking about how I wanted to do this but the timing wasn't right everything happens in the right time and um, in 2017 Adrian and I Adrian and I we had to save a lot of money for the wedding so that was not a good time to to leave my job um, but 2018 is it seems like the right time and so even though it's scary life is short and I want to go for it so that's go, that's what I'm gonna be doing so um, you guys are gonna see me a lot more this year and I'm gonna be going hard especially when the summer hits and I have all that time I'm going in so yeah so for my eyebrows um, another staple like I go back to this all the time I've never bought the Anastasia brow pencils or anything because I used the LA colors auto liner and I've been using that for years and first of all it's only like a dollar no more than two dollars and I get it at Dollar General and I use two colors I use the um, the 663 brown and then I use 662 in black brown so I'm gonna use the lighter color at the front of my brows and then the darker color at the back of my brows but before before I do that I'm gonna take my Sasha buttercup setting powder that I've had for like two years and it's almost gone which is good I've been using my stuff it's literally almost gone so that's good and it lasts a long time obviously and it was only 20 it was 20 bucks my, my mom got it for me so I put this setting powder on my brows because sometimes my brows get greasy and so it kind of gives the the surface of my brows like like a drier surface for the pencil to kind of adhere to so I'm going to start off with the lighter brown color 663 got like six weeks of school left and I am gonna miss a lot of my kids but um, I'm excited about the new chapter and in May it's gonna be my birthday I'm gonna be turning 28 And if you guys want to see like more like YouTuber journey kind of videos, let me know because I've I've made videos throughout the process when I was at like 20k and then when I was I made one last summer when I was probably at like I don't know 50k or something like that. Let me know cuz at each level you gain a little bit more um, understanding and responsibility of how YouTube works. I'm still learning a lot too. I just got some Adore dye. No, I got 613, um, I got a 613 frontal with three body wave bundles and I'm going to be dyeing some hair soon. So I have pink dye, I have green like emerald green dye and I have like the Cajun spice one so I gotta figure out which one I want to do first so y'all let me know if you want to see a like copper wig first a 
bluish green, tealish color or a pink wig because I'm gonna have all three eventually, but I gotta start somewhere first. I'm definitely excited about being able to look how I wanna look again, like change my hair up every single day if I want to without, you know, people being all in my business and stuff. I'm excited about that. So, I am gonna take this Estee Lauder Double Wear um, Stay In Place Foundation. What color is this? 5W1 Bronze. Now, I got this sent to me from Octoly at the end of 2017. And in the winter time, this was too dark for me, but it's getting hotter, so my skin is getting darker, and um, it's still not the right shade, so I have to mix it with something else to to make it work because this is so thick of a foundation so if your foundation doesn't match it's going to be pretty obvious do is i'm going to put that foundation on the back of my hand and this does look pretty pretty orange and i'm going to start carving my brows out some more uh fashion hauls on my channel with different i've gained like 15 pounds since last July so I do like to wear more no fuss kind of clothes like dresses and kimonos and leggings and stuff and you guys know I'm six feet tall so I'm definitely gonna try to do more hauls fashion hauls and try-ons because I don't feel like I've said this several times on my channel um, I don't feel like there's much representation for tall women online especially YouTube. There's bloggers that are tall, that have like blogs dedicated to tall women, but not so much on YouTube. If you know YouTubers that like are tall and they do fashion hauls, like drop their um, channel names in the comment section. Cause I love to see how like taller women dress their bodies. Um, more trendy companies like Pretty Little Thing, but my style is not necessarily like what they have. I don't know how to describe it. Like sometimes it's like too much of a baddie, Instagram baddie look. And just on a daily basis, I don't like doing all of that, but I'm sure they have some things that would be cool for me. And I've tried Fashion Nova before, but their jeans are so, like, for me, they're hit or miss. I've, I've wanted, like, um, destroyed or distressed black jeans, and I've had, every time I buy some from them, they never work. So, they're, they're always too small, like, the sizing is always off. So, where I have had success with, um finding jeans that are stretchy enough and long enough for my for my um, height is American Eagle. Now to me they're kind of on the expensive side because some of their jeans are like $60 which to some people is not that expensive but for me that's expensive. guys want to see a Q&A video let me know that'd be cool y'all can leave your questions in the comment section and I'll make a Q&A video I haven't done a video, a video like that ever but like more personal I haven't done that before so leave your comments below and I actually do like my foundation to be darker a little bit, just like a hit darker than what my skin tone is. Because I've had foundations that are too light and that's just, ugh, I can't stand looking like a ghost. I'd rather um, have my foundation just a little bit darker. And it's kind of tricky because my forehead is darker than the rest of my face. 
All right, brows are done, so we're gonna move on to foundation. I'm gonna be mixing the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation with the Milani Conceal and Perfect Two-in-One Foundation in color Golden Tan. I'm gonna have everything listed in the description box. Um, if you have like some favorite foundations that you like, let me know in the description box. Not the description box, let me know in the comment section because I'm kind of a foundation junkie. Now I reviewed this two years ago and I didn't know that much about foundation but this stuff will have you greasy in a few hours. Like even with primer and everything. Um, but I have like a full bottle so I'm going to use it up until it's gone but it's not that good especially when you get when it gets hotter like this is not going to be working for me but I'm going to use it up until it's gone um yeah but um I ran out of my favorite foundation at the moment which is the wet n wild photo focus foundation I really like that um I need to try the the new Maybelline foundation that everybody's raving about. And I still need to try Fenty foundation. Like, when the Fenty um, line dropped, that was like in August or September, and I was saving for the wedding and stuff, so I was like, I can't splurge on all of that stuff. Because I wanted to get way more than just foundation. But now, I'm, I think I'm gonna go to Sephora and get matched and everything and support Rihanna because I love Rihanna she's like one of my faves um I really enjoy really like colorful, dramatic eye makeup, but lately I've just been like doing very neutral looks and sometimes even on the weekend I just, I don't even wear lashes, I just do foundation, brows, mascara, and lip gloss and I've been loving that look so I get why people like more natural makeup looks but I like it all. And I like full coverage makeup, I don't like BB creams and all that kind of stuff. I, I probably should try that, especially on days where I go with lighter makeup, but I like full coverage makeup. Because I have scars and all that kind of stuff. I'm considering getting a new um, camera. Well, I've had my Canon T6i for two years, it'll be two years in June. Um, and that camera is great, but um, the screen went out about two months ago and I have to still get it repaired. So I've been using Adrian's camera, which is a Nikon D5200. And it's really great and I'm starting to understand the settings. Yeah, I, I think I understand the settings now. But um, I want, even though my um, iPhone 7 Plus takes really good like pictures and selfies and stuff, I want to try the A, the Sony A5100 camera because I see a lot of um, like YouTubers and influencers using that to take selfies and their their pictures look really good. So I'm considering getting one of those eventually. But for now, my my phone is just fine. That Estee Lauder foundation is very full coverage. It kind of makes me not even feel like I need to have a concealer under my eye, but I'm gonna do it anyway for to add dimension to my face and not have just like one color. So, um, I have had a lot of people ask me about my eyeliner and I have shown how I do my eyeliner and, um, several of my videos but I'll just show you guys again so um I kind of just I, I was using um Inglot gel liner for a while and I love that but um 
I went back to the basics and I went with my e.l.f. liquid liner in color jet black. This is only probably $3 at the most and if you can do gel liner you can use pretty much everything or anything. Um, first let me set my lids with some translucent some setting powder because my lids get greasy. So I'm going to set my lids. Yeah, this video is probably going to be like 30 minutes or more, or a little bit more. Okay, so what I do is I get the angle that I want of my eyeliner first. So, so I draw the angle. And I like longer wings, but you can do shorter wings if you want to. Um, and then I go to the tip of that line and I drag it towards my eye and it creates like a triangle and then I fill in that triangle with the liquid liner and then I just try to make the line cleaner the corner of my eye but kind of make it get smaller as it goes to the corner and that's what my liner looks like. So I'm going to do it to the other eye. A very helpful tip that I got from Alyssa Ashley's channel was that um, once you put your liquid liner on you need to set it with a black eyeshadow or just something that's a matte black shadow. Um, so just look in your um, eyeshadow palettes and look for something that's black. I gotta go get my black eyeshadow and I'll be back. Alright, so I'm gonna use my Too Faced Semi Sweet Chocolate Palette. They have a they have a black shade in there called Licorice, and that's what I'm gonna be using to set my eyeshadow. Well, I'm gonna use it to set my um eyeliner. Ideally you would have like an angle, a small angle brush that you could just dip. Um into your eyeshadow but I'm just gonna use this kind of small flat brush and put some of that black eyeshadow on there and just set my liner because this helps with um, your liner not to fade and transfer and everything ever since um, I watched her video that and she said that I do that every time I do liner and it does make the liner look more intense and solid. Alright, for lashes, I'm going to be using the Kim Thai um, Lionhearted Lashes from Cake Face Beauty. These are actually the lashes that I wore on my wedding day. They are very dramatic and they're beautiful. These are the most expensive lashes that I've tried. They're only $18. Some people spend like $30 and stuff on their lashes. But the reason why I like this particular brand is because they're synthetic, but they look like mink lashes. I, don't, I only want to use synthetic lashes. I think it's, I don't want to use 3D mink lashes. I just, that's just not my preference. So. And usually synthetic lashes are less expensive than the mink lashes too. So, um, yeah, I really like these. And I like the brand of Cake Face Beauty. Um, I did a post on my Instagram around the time of my wedding asking, got, asking people, like, what are their favorite lash brands that are not that expensive. 
No, I didn't even say that. I just said, what are your favorite lash brands? And this was one that somebody suggested and I really like this brand. So, so I'm gonna be using the Duo um, Blue, but this one is kind of, it's not the one that's in the tube. This is, this one's a little bit different. This is how this one looks. And it's black and I'm just gonna paint it on there, on the strip. And the strip on this one is, Big, or it's like a thicker strip so you kind of have to wear them more than once to get it um, how you want it because it's so thick of a band lashes are difficult for me and some people have requested to see how I put them on how I put them on I just kind of look upward and then drop it on my lash and then apply the end of the lash first And the reason why I like these lashes, especially with when I'm not doing eyeshadow, is because it's dramatic enough to hold its own without eyeshadow. And this, these are both lashes. These are not for like people that like natural makeup like every single day. This is some this is for somebody who likes dramatic lashes. This year, I'm going to tell you guys, I'm probably going to make a whole video about some of my favorite lashes because my lash collection is growing a lot. And all of the lashes that I try are affordable, so I think that'll be a good video for you guys. I'm going to set my under eye with the Sasha Buttercup Setting Powder. I'm going to set those other places as well. Let me know if you guys know of some good drugstore um, setting powders that don't have flashback. Because this is the only one I use. Alright, for contour, I'm gonna be using I'm gonna be using the LA Colors. Um, I love contour palette. I've been using this for years and it's very inexpensive. You can find this at the dollar, some dollar stores. I'm gonna be using the bottom one and I'm just gonna add some to my cheeks. So I'm going to use the fluffy brush end of this dual brush that I got from Cure um, Cosmetics in a boxy charm, and I'm just going to use that to contour my nose. I don't contour my nose like all the time, but when I'm really like going for a full look, I do.
All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this Lancome Cold Eyeliner Pencil in color 602 Black Ebony. This also came as a gift and I love it. I probably wouldn't buy this on its own because I think it is, it's Lancome so it's probably expensive. Yeah, so it's Lancome, so I'm sure this is expensive, but I got it as a gift and a, a kit. So, um, but I really like it. I'm sure it's like, I used a Rimmel cold pencil for a long time, but I really like this one. And it makes my lower lash line look like more intense. I love that look. Eyes are my favorite part of makeup. It just defines my eye. I just love how that looks. This is a pretty easy look. Alright, I'm gonna set my I'm gonna set my face with the Milani Make It Last setting spray. I actually like the NYX um setting spray more than this one but I I was at Target and they had it I think I got this from Target and I, and I just I decided to get it all right now my favorite part highlighter I've been rocking with this since January I think the master chrome um, Highlighter in color Molten Gold. They have other colors and um, I saw Madam, I saw Madam J. I think it's I Madam J on Instagram. She had like a makeup video a couple weeks ago and she had like the more silver shade. And um, it looked, she's about my complexion so it looked good on her. It was more on the silvery side. But the Molten Gold is obviously on the gold side and I really like how gold looks on my skin tone. But the silver looked good on her so I think I might go back and um try that one out so i'm just taking this fluffy brush from morphe which is the m504 this is a good eyeshadow brush but i like to use it to apply um highlighter to my nose and my cheekbones now a lot of people some people don't like having the, the highlight on the tip of their nose but i love that look on me um but you don't have to do that. You can just kind of have it on the bridge instead of the tip of your nose. But I love how that looks. Um, and I put it on my Cupid's bow as well. I like how that looks with my um, lipstick. All right, I'm going to take um, the highlighter and I'm going to use this BH Cosmetics brush. It's like a small detail brush and I'm going to put that in my tear duct area. And I'm going to take that brush and just kind of dust it on the... Brow bone area. All right, for my lips, I'm going to be using three different liquid lipsticks. I'm going to be using two from Colored Rain. One is Truffle Rain. That's going to be the base of it because it, it acts as kind of like a lip liner. And then I'm going to be using Sugar from Colored Rain. And then to give the 
look more of a peachy look. I'm going to be using the Maybelline Vivid Matte Liquid um, Color Sensational Lip in the color Nude Flush. And that's the color combo I made up last night because I wanted like a nudie brown that was kind of peach. And that's what I came up with. I used to just rock straight browns like um, Colourpop's Limbo, but but Colourpop's Limbo, I tried it again and then I tried this with this just by itself and it looked kind of harsh on me, so I tend to mix it with something else now. I've been wearing um, Colored Rain liquid lipsticks for about since December, I think. And I think they are great. I bought like a whole bunch of them when they were $10. They're usually like 17, so I racked up. Okay, so I have the base down, and you can just use this if you want to, but I like to tone it down with sugar, which is a nude color, like a nudish pink. All right, this is a nice, this is like a color combo I do anyway, but I wanted um, to try it just a little bit more peach. Um, so you can just use Trophy Rain and Sugar and it's a nice look, but I want to try this again and put this Maybelline on there. All right, I'm cool with that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go off camera and finish the frontal video, curl this wig up, and I'll be back with like the whole look finish. All right guys, so here is the final makeup look. Um, like I said, this is a makeup look I pretty much did like in February, but I wanted to do it again. I wanted to do it again because a lot of people have been like complimenting me on it in different videos and on Instagram and stuff like that. So I wanted to do it for you guys. And I wanted to um, kill two birds with one stone and tell you guys updates about teaching and everything and then some other random stuff. If you enjoyed this Get Ready With Me video, definitely give me a thumbs up and comment below. Let me know if you um, what kinds of videos you would like to see in the future. Um, yeah, and if you're interested in my hair, I will have a separate video on this hair I don't know if it's gonna be up before this it might be um, either way the hair and the makeup is gonna be on my channel um, yeah I want to thank you guys for supporting my channel and I will see you guys in the next video bye guys